So lock your phone cut off. So what I'm going to do here, I want to move on to the next article here. And then um, this is from Fox News. And this is another news media outlet that's trying to back Bill Gates from all of this hate. So it says, uh, Microsoft Bill Gates targeted by social media mobs after coronavirus response to World Health Organization comments. So it says, um, excuse me. Microsoft co founder Bill Gates is being targeted and harassed on social media in the wake up of his comment comments criticizing the federal response to the coronavirus pandemic. The US decision to withdraw funds from the World Health Organization on a recent Instagram post thanking healthcare workers. The billionaire philanthropist was subjected to hundreds of thousands of comments calling them a partisan and linking him to a wide range of bizarre <laughs> conspiracy theories, man. And like I said, you know, when you go on places like Instagram and you go on Bill Gates' account, his, excuse me, his, uh, yeah, his Instagram account, and you check out his pictures that he posts on Instagram, or whoever's behind his Instagram channel, or his account, excuse me, Basically, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of comments or tens of thousands of comments. And every last one of those comments are some negative comments, man. So the hate that Bill Gates is getting is strong. And this is why you have uh, Fox News and another article that I had brought out, which was called The Verge, backing him up. I still have it right here. Because like I said, you know, Bill Gates is that guy that they're going to use to bring about this chip. So if a lot of people are talking against what Bill Gates is on about, then they have to do it to the best of it, to the, they have to protect them or back him to the best of their ability because the Verge and also Fox News, they're they're all in it together, okay. And it's one, and it's and it's a it's, it's, it's a one brotherhood that's under Satan, and their plan is to pretty much bring about what you call this one world system, as they call it, the new world order. All right, and I mean you can clearly see that people are waking up, and people ain't really riding with these individuals anymore because people already. And I'm not going to say everybody, but you have a large group of people that are, are aware of the left hand dealings of these people. So what I want to do here, I want to get another scripture. Yeah, let's get that out of here. Matter of fact, I'll read Isaiah 47. Verse... Um, Four, it says, as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt be no more called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hands. And thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient, as thou very heavily laid a yoke. And thou said, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to heart, to thy heart, and neither didst remember thy, the latter end of it. All right? So they never considered the time of their end. And they have, um, they've had no mercy upon the ancient. Let me, let, me, let me deal with that. Let's deal with that. Because ever since our people were on the swords of America, you know, we were lynched. Uh, you know, we were brutalized in many ways, man. And Esau is still targeting us. Still targeting us. Because really, he hates us going all the way back to the um, the hate that Esau has for Jacob. And when you read the book of Ezekiel 36, it talks about that. On how Esau had a perpetual hatred against his brother Jacob. Which we represent Jacob. The 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called blacks, the so-called Latinos, Native American Indians, we all represent Jacob. And this is why Esau does not like 
um, the so-called Negro. Esau does not like the so-called Mexican. Esau does not like the so-called Native American Indians and the indigenous people of South Central America. Because we all represent Jacob and they represent their great-great-grandfather Esau. All right? And another part of their One World Order agenda is to get rid of the Israelites, which is our people. So I want to see if I can get me another scripture. One last scripture I'm going to get, and I'm going to close this one out. Shoot at the perfect. Yeah, Psalm 64, verse 4. Let's read verse 3. You know what? We'll start from the, the first verse. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, hear my voice, O power, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, because there will be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And if you are part of the elect, Either way, you're going to survive that insurrection, the wrath that's getting ready to come down the pike. Now, you're going to have some brothers, according to Revelations, the 20th chapter, that may have to uh, be a mortar. And you're going to have brothers that are going to be beamed up. Or however, brothers get delivered. But either way, we're going to be taken care of. Let's read verse three. Who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, and suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Because who is the perfect? The perfect is we, the Israelites. Now, when you read the particular chapter and verse where it says that um, Jacob is a plain man dwelling in tents, when you look up that word plain, the word plain is um, tamam. Or to my I believe if I'm correct, which means perfect. So Jacob was likened as a perfect man that, that was dwelling in tents, if you break it down the correct way. And Esau was a man of the field. In other words, he was a man of the world. And that's why these, these Edomites, they're very, they like to go on an adventure and check out different species and animals and creatures and stuff like that. Even creatures that can kill them. Because that's just in their spirit to be like that. But Jake were a perfect people. You know, we're, sim we're simply a perfect people. So Psalm 64 verse 4 is referring to these Edomites coming up against us. And really the perfect are those that have the truth as well. Such as what we have. And their retention is just to do away with those that have the truth. All right. And that's another part of the one world order agenda is to do away with truth. And those that have the truth to the highest degree, to the fullness, are the Hebrew Israelites. More so the men of great millstone. So they're going to look and to seek to rise up against us. But then the Lord is going to enter therein and destroy his kingdom. So let's read um, Psalm 64 verse 4 again. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. And suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They courage themselves in an evil matter. They commune lay and snares privately and they say who shall see them. They search out iniquities and they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Yeah. And that's why you have. A thing called um, think tanks, which they all get together and they think deeply concerning what kind of wickedness they can bring about and manifest. But what does this say? It says, but the most I shall shoot at them with an arrow and suddenly shall they be wounded. Yeah. So those missiles are going to be wounding every single thing in, 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 its, in its way, including their agenda and plans, because their plans are going to go up and smoke right along with them. All right. And that's the end result of this map. 
their end, or should I say these men, their end is to their demise, their destruction. Okay, and that's what they're going to see and experience overall when it's all said and done, man. So with that, I'm going to close this video out and I say Shalom.